Hello and welcome to another video review of Omega T. By default, Omega T stores both the glossary folder and the team folder within the project structure. This is probably okay with one time projects when you translate a project, then you close it and you never return to it and you don't have any additional projects for this, for the same client. However, when you work on long term projects, and uh, I mean those projects that come in batches over a period of time, it becomes inefficient to use the local folders across projects. Let's pretend you have five projects from Microsoft and in each of these projects here you're going to have a glossary folder and the TM folder, right? So the glossary folder and the TM folder. Of course having duplicate folders across projects is inefficient and they are pretty hard to manage. For example, having several glossary files for an end client across several projects increases the risk of using the wrong glossary. That is an outdated one. One intuitive way to avoid this problem of duplicate TM folders and glossaries is to keep them in a centralized location. And for the sake of example, I'm, I will just show you the one of these projects from Microsoft and as you can see, the TM and the glossary are stored locally in this project. Alright, you can keep your centralized TM and glossary folder wherever you want. And in this example, I'm going to put it right beside my projects folder. So this is my projects folder with five projects. And this is going to be my centralized TM and glossary folder. And within this folder, I'm going to create and client folders, starting with Microsoft. Okay, then let's, let's create three end clients and HP. The next step is to create the, the structure within this folder. So, of course, I'm going to have TM subfolder and glossary subfolder following the names that Omega T uses by default. I will keep the glossary empty for now and for example I can let Omega T create a glossary when I start translating the project and within the TM I will create a standard structure because I want to keep it organized. Of course I need the auto folder then I will create the enforce folder and uh, let's say my TMs folder and uh, let's say penalty minus 30 folder. And I will copy this structure in the remaining folders. So I, I have the same structure across all three end client folders. Well, that's basically it. I'm ready to start using my centralized location. Okay, I open my project within a mega team. So I'll go to projects, project one. All right, and so the the old settings are still in effect, and this is the local folder. And what I will now do is change this local folder to the centralized one. Okay, let's change the TM folder first. Okay, so I, I moved out of the project and now I go to the centralized location, Microsoft TM. Open. Okay, the TM is in the centralized. And now let's also change the glossary folder. Glossary. Here we go. So both the TM and the glossary folder are within the centralized location now. And now it's time to add the source file and a TM and the glossary to see whether this setup actually works. Okay, I added glossary and the TM. And now I will open the project. Here we go. I have matches from the glossary and I have a match from the translation memory. 
if I try to add a glossary term, it will be saved, as you see, into the centralized location. Here we go, Omegate created the default glossary and saved this term into this glossary within the centralized TM and glossary folder. Now I can simply go to my projects folder, project 1, and simply delete both the TM and the glossary folder because I don't do not need them anymore here. Okay, so they're gone and Omega T continues to use my paths that I indicated that point to the centralized location for TM and glossary. And here is the best thing about this setup. When I create the second project, this project, let's open it. Okay, what I simply need to do is point this project to the centralized location as well. Okay, so TM and the glossary. And I can even choose which glossary I want to use as the as the main for this project. For example, if I want to use the Microsoft glossary, this one, all the time instead of letting Omega T create specific project glossaries, I will choose this one. All right. By using this centralized location, I avoided the whole manual process of keeping and copying the TMs and glossaries from one project to another. This saves you time and saves you from the errors that result from having duplicate copies of files across, of the same files across folders, across projects. And two final tips. If you use a Megatee from two different computers, one good idea is to keep your centralized location on a network folder that is accessible from both computers. And the second tip is that you do not even have to set the paths to your centralized location manually when you create a project. All you need to do is simply copy the Omega 2 project file that has the settings. If you open it, you see that it has the paths. So you can simply copy this file from the old project to a new one and Omega 2 will use the old paths automatically, the default paths to your centralized location. That's it. Thank you for watching and please help this video channel by sharing a link to the blog post it is attached to. This link is mentioned in the comments below.